Okay guys, so the day has finally arrived. Internal tracking inside Final Cut Pro is finally here in the latest update from Apple. To access the new tracking features, you're gonna need at least Final Cut Pro version 10.6, which was released in October 2021. You're also going to have to be running at least macOS Big Sur. So without further ado, let's just get straight into this and learn how to use the new tracking features. So the first thing you're going to notice about Final Cut Pro that's changed is when you come over here to the inspector on the right hand side and you open this sidebar by clicking the three slider icons, you're going to see this new feature here called trackers. All we need to do for this is click the plus icon and all of a sudden you're going to see this grid formation lights up. So this is our tracker. To begin tracking, all we need to do is drag our grid onto the item we want to track. I have this cool clip of this race car. So we drag our grid onto the race car and then we can drag these icons down. So you want to fix this box quite tightly to the object you're trying to track because it's really going to tell Final Cut Pro exactly where the object you're tracking is and what it looks like. On the left hand corner we also have this white small circle and this is going to allow us to change the curvature of our corners. However for this Formula 1 car I'm just going to leave it square as it is. So once you've got your box to the right size and in the right position, we're going to come up here to the top left hand corner and we're going to click Analyze. You see we also have a left and a right icon. If we click analyze, it's going to analyze the entire clip for tracking information. If we were say in the middle of the clip and I wanted to track from here, I would just reposition and then I could either click backwards if I wanted it to track backwards or I could click forwards and that would track it forwards as well. But I'll delete those tracks and for the sake of showing you guys how analyze works, we'll just add one more track here and I'll change my box to the right size and then I'll click analyze. And this tracking is in real time. You see how it is basically playing the clip in real time and it's tracking forwards and backwards. So super, super impressive and Apple have done amazing things. So now that we've got our tracking clip, you can see under our plus icon down here, we have our object track. A top tip here is that if we double click object track, we can rename this and I recommend doing this. It will allow you to keep track of your tracks, excuse the pun, much more easily. So I'm gonna change this to red car. And press enter. So now if we drag our playhead we can see that the box is perfectly tracked to the car all the way through and that allows us to track anything we want to this car as well. If I come up here to the right hand side and I open the browser I can drag one of our titles on top of the clip. So I'm going to pick one from Hero Shot Titles which is from FCPX Full Access and you can see straight away nothing, nothing changed here we've just got our normal title but if I select the title and I come over here to the transform icon I click transform and you can see where we would have once just had transform, we now also have tracker and a drop down arrow. If I click the drop down arrow, then we have access to our tracking tracks. And you can see red car that we had before is there. So I'm just going to select red car. And all of a sudden, our title is now tracked to this car perfectly. So let's just see how that looks straight out of the box without any adjustments. Looks really cool. Obviously I'd like to not have my title over the car so all I have to do here is I just drag my title above and then I can make all of my normal adjustments to the title in the inspector. So over here on the right hand side I can change the size, I could change this to race number one, I could change the colour. So let's have a look and see what that looks like. That looks really, really cool. So now that we've learned how to track a title, let's learn how we could do something like track an effect. So here I have this clip of this lady running and let's say our client really wants us to keep her identity secret or perhaps we're doing some sort of cop show or something like that. So Final Cut Pro now has a new feature whereby if we drag our effects over the image, they use their machine learning to show us what we might want to track to. So immediately they use AI to show us what a face looks like or an object is perhaps here. But a face is a really good one because their machine learning can recognize this very easily. So you're always gonna get a very, very accurate track. So if I just drag that onto the face and I drop it there, it looks straight away like it's tracked, but it's not yet. We still have to come up to the top left here and click analyze. And again, we can click forwards or backwards. Perhaps if we wanted it to only track from a certain point, we could click forwards or backwards, but I would like the whole clip analyzed. So I'm gonna click analyze. And again, this is in real time. So it's really, really impressive and smooth rendering from Final Cut Pro here. A lot of the old aftermarket apps that you would use to track took 
you know, half an hour, 20 minutes to track a clip like this frame by frame. But this is so smooth, I can't even describe to you guys. So that is absolutely awesome. So the pixelate effect is now tracked to her face perfectly through the entire clip. You might be able to tell that there's some spill from the pixelate if I were to turn the amount up. You can tell that the mask on the pixelate effect is a little too large. So all I have to do to fix this is come up here and I click on shape and that gives me access to controls of the shape mask. So all I have to do here is I can drag this feather down and you can see straight away now we're just getting this pixelate effect on her face. So I can click done and let's just take a quick look and see. That is excellent. As per usual, I can just go into the video inspector here and I can change the amount of the effect, make it more or less, and it's really, really easy to use. So I want to give you guys a really quick tip on a problem you might run into using tracking in Final Cut Pro. So if I just really quickly track a title to this runner, I'm just gonna go into my title and grab the custom title here. And as you can see, I can drag it right onto her face to start setting up the tracking process. I'm just going to drag the title to match the whole clip length. And then up here on the right hand side, you can see I've got our runner from what we made earlier for the sensor. And straight away that title is now perfectly tracked to the runner. However, it also tracks the rotation of her face, which can actually be a bit jarring when you're watching a title or trying to read text. So in order to tell Final Cut Pro that we don't want our title to track to the rotation of her face, so we just select the title that we wanted to track. We come up here into the video inspector on the right hand side, and you can see in our transform parameters, we have this new little icon here, which is this square inside the kind of markers. If we simply click that, we now have these tracker options. So we can choose if we want it to track the position, rotation, scale, or just remove altogether. So I'm going to uncheck rotation because this is ticked by default. And I'm just going to make sure that our rotation here hasn't been affected by our track. So I'm going to move this, make sure that this is zero. So I've got a straight title and you can see now how our title tracks to the runner, but it isn't following her rotation. This makes it much simpler to read and it makes it much nicer to look at. So another application you might use for this is wanting to censor out logos. Lots of footage has logos in it and your clients are almost never happy to have another brand's logo in. But this is really, really easy to fix with internal tracking. So again, all I'm going to do here, I'm going to come down to my effects browser and I'm going to look for something like a Gaussian blur. And I'm going to drag Gaussian blur over here. And you see we've got several options here. We can track the object or I can perhaps create my own and I'm just going to drag it drag it here. I'm trying to get rid of this small icon, this small logo, sorry, on his arm. So I'm just going to drag the tracker box over his arm and make sure it's nice and small, just so the tracker follows that one position. And I'm going to make it a bit more circular. That's great. Now I'm going to go up to the top left hand side and I'm going to click analyze. So you can see it doing its work here, just tracking the logo, nothing else. Our blur straight away is too big, our shape mask on our blur is too large, so I just come up here and I click shape and I can drag that feather right down just so it's covering our logo and then I can boost our blur as much or as little as I want and I click done and just like that the logo is completely blurred, perfectly gone. And to the untrained eye, this is really an effective way to get rid of a logo. And people generally don't notice things like this, apart from your clients who are going to love you for getting rid of all the logos. Now, a really fun way to use tracking is to use it with templates. So, for example, you see I have this nice clip of this lady texting, and I'd love to have some on screen visuals of her texts coming up on screen. This is something that before was really hard to do without plugins. But now that we have internal tracking, this is incredibly easy. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the browser by clicking the six icons in the top right hand corner. So I'm going to come down to full access iMessage simulator. These are all included in our ultimate bundle. You can see how I have our titles section completely fully loaded of templates and titles and effects here. And it's just $99 for every single plugin we make for Final Cut Pro. This is one of my favorites, iMessage Simulator, and these are pre-animated conversations from texts in an iPhone. So to track this to our film, all we have to do is now drag this onto our person and we can track her face, or we could track another point in the clip. I always recommend the face because it is a particularly stable thing to track. 
I'm gonna make sure the title is covering our clip here and then I'm just gonna click analyze. Once that's analyzed, we can just take a quick look. So you can see how the positioning is off. So all I have to do here is make sure I have our title selected. I make sure I have our transform tool open and then I can just drag it where I'd like it. And again, I'm gonna do what we did last time and I'm gonna come over here into our transform tool and I'm gonna make sure that rotation is unchecked. This means it's gonna follow the position or the scale if I wanted it to, but not the rotation of her face because I would like it just to be straight on screen and I can change things like the scale and I can edit our template as per usual. So now let's take a quick watch of how that looks. So you can see straight away that this is looking really professional, smoothly tracked. It gives the elements an almost lifelike feel to them that they're inside the film. And this is something you would have needed real experience in After Effects before to have done. And now with internal tracking inside Final Cut Pro, this is an accessible feature for anybody. So that wraps it up for today. I'm super stoked on this new internal tracking and it's useful for any of the FCPX full access plugins that we have for you guys. This really opens up the door to what Final Cut Pro editors can do and this makes Final Cut Pro an even more professional solution for editors. And it's a journey we're stoked to be on with you. So stay creative and we'll see you in the next tutorial.